Hi everyone, I'm Nikki and welcome back to the Fundamentals of Print Design. In this lesson we're going to get our document ready for printing and that means going over some pre-flight steps in InDesign that's going to ensure that everything is A-OK -okay for sending this document to print. So before you even hit export and save that PDF, there's a few things that we need to go through in this document to make sure that we're ready to go. And all you have to do in InDesign is go to File Preflight. And this brings up a summary of your publication. It's saying that we have six fonts used. We have five links found. Those are our images. And we have all five of those use RGB color space. And you may think that needs to be CMYK, but I'm going to show you a trick when you save out your PDF that's going to save you from having to go and convert those all to CMYK manually. And then it says that we have colors and inks. This is really important to pay attention to. It says that we have four process inks, zero spot inks, and CMS is on. You want to make sure that this does not have a number with it if you're using CMYK. If you're using CMYK color space, which 90% of the time when you're working with print documents of full color, four color, you will always use CMYK. So you do not want to mix your process colors and your spot colors. If you want to make a document that's spot color, then you would have a number for your spot, but you would not have any process inks. So it's important to stay away from mixing those because you will have issues at the printer if you do. And then the rest of this just has general information about your document. So you can go in each of these and find out more details about your document. Here we have a list of fonts that we're using. We can see they're all true type fonts and they're okay and they are not protected fonts. You could just show problems only and that's a good way to see if you have any problems with your fonts and I do not. If you had any fonts that needed to be linked up here you could find your font here you would see an error in this font when you hit that it would show up here and then you can relink that font if you needed to. For your links and images it says that we have five there's no problems with them they're all linked up we don't have to find any one if you made any changes to these, you could update them here. Again, you could show only your problem areas. Colors and inks, you can see that we've used all four colors and that is what we want. We don't want to see any spot or, or spot inks here. You just want to have your process cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. If you have any print settings, you can see them here. And if you're using any external plugins, you would see that there. So from here, you can look at your report. You could package this if you wanted to, but I'm just going to hit cancel because we don't have anything else that we want to do with the pre-flight. So if you don't have any errors in your document, there's a couple other things that we want to check and make sure before we save out our document. The first thing we want to check is that all of our bleeds are good to go. There really is no plugin or anything that's going to tell you that you have issues with your bleeds. So you're going to need to check this yourself. And basically that just means that all of your images hit this red line or go beyond it. If it goes beyond it, that's fine. It'll be trimmed away. But just make sure that anything that's going to bleed off of your document goes all the way to this red line. And you can see that everything does in this case. So you just want to do a quick check there. Another thing that you want to check is make sure that nothing important extends beyond this purple margin line. We don't want our text all the way over here, for example. We want that pushed back in. And then in this case, these guides right here also show us where we don't want text. So we want to make sure that everything stays nicely within our guides to ensure that they don't accidentally get trimmed away or folded in the case of this trifold brochure. The last thing that we can do here is go to swatches and you can see that we have a, a list of swatches here. To clean up this document, you can get rid of all of your unused fonts. So you can select all unused and you can see it selects this little bunch here and then you can delete these swatches. It just cleans up your document and only keeps those colors that you're using in your document in your file when you save it out. And then you just want to make sure that everything is in place and ready to go. Now, you might be thinking, do we need to convert this text to outlines? 
You could do that by selecting your text individually, going to type and create outlines. But we don't need to do that because in the next lesson, I'm going to show you a PDF preset that I use probably about 99% of the time that I'm saving out my print documents. And it saves us from having to create our text to outlines. And it saves us from having to take all of our RGB images and converting them to CMYK. So basically, when you're going to save out your PDF, it's going to do that for you. Huge time saver, and it eliminates the possibility of having some errors in your document. For example, if you converted all of this text to outlines, and you're save happy like I am, and hit Control S to save your document, if you outlined all of that text and accidentally did that, you now do not have a document anymore that you can edit that text. So that's a big problem. So in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to avoid that problem and have a ready to go PDF preset that's going to make saving your print documents so much easier. Thanks so much for watching.